Hello everybody, it's Lennon. Today I want to show you guys my custom LEGO mobile crane. Yeah, no, that's, it's a mobile crane. This is what I call a rapid heavyweight crane. Well, XXL mobile crane, whatever you want to say. It's a rapid heavyweight crane. Rapid due to the fact that in its short distance it can, it can lift fairly quickly. And heavyweight because it's designed with a lot of weight in a short distance. Thus, the kind of weird look. And anyways, I do. Pro I probably will change it. Just how the boom functions. In fact, I have a kind of a cool design. I might explain later. But for now, we'll go ahead. I'll show you guys this as it was requested in this form. Let's go ahead and let's get started. All right. So I really uh, like this crane personally. I think it looks good. Uh, this is a first attempt too, so I'm actually fairly impressed. I went with a unique, kind of a unique design. It's a six stud wide cab and an eight stud wide body. You know, there's these little bits that come off, and the mirrors do add the width. But if I took these off, and then this, and on the same thing on the other side, I could technically uh, fold the mirrors in and fit it inside of an 8-stud wide garage, which is pretty kind of cool to think, considering the fact this is a wide vehicle by city standards, at least the older city standards, by my personal scale. Anyways, uh, one, it's not really, I, I just, again, I really like the look though, it, it's just got good shaping, and one cool feature incorporated in the bottom, I was gonna, I actually considered doing steering, I know it's possible, but each of these axles, Except for the center one is done perpendicularly, so the center one's static, so that's what keeps it level. It's been I'd lean to one side or the other, and that all the other ones essentially can go up and down. Can't really go over my finger really well. I can try. I don't know if it's gonna really. Yeah, you kind of see it there. But yeah, it, it really looks just kind of cool, like going over a, a mattress, just because they all just kind of form and everything. But yeah, it's really, I really, I like it. It's a cool vehicle. But uh, let's go ahead and we'll start, we'll set up the first step to get this thing up. And All right, so the first step is we need to fold out these outriggers and get to the foot pads back in here. So there's four foot pads, there's four outriggers. And they're an X-shaped outrigger, not a more just a slide out arms. So I don't know what you call those. But these are done in such a way that the ball joints on the bottom of these will clip right between those two clips. So if I take it, I can just, yeah, clip it in like so and it stays on and it can also form the terrain as necessary. So I'm going to do that with all four feet. Fold these outriggers out. Go ahead and attach the foot pads onto them. And now I do have a little bit, I, I like to line the legs up personally just because of the personal pet peeves. Actually, I don't put them truly at 90 degrees. I actually put them at a slightly steeper angle. I guess I can show you that from above. So there's the angle from above. As you can see, it's really more X-shaped than anything. Really, yeah, it's just a condensed down. Those are not 90 degree angles. Now the next important step is we need to get the handles on so we can get the boom and everything else raised. So first we need to open up this back panel and what looks like a main attach was my idea behind it. And well, that worked out well actually. Some stuff fell off. Okay, let's get this organized. So we got some. Wow, I just put that on the floor. You can congratulate me in the comments if you're really that bored. I, oh wow, this is gonna look really professional. Oh my gosh, just get out. I don't know. Okay, almost done. Okay, now we have those out. We got a bunch of little pieces. So let me go ahead and get those assembled. And that way it looks a lot better. All right, now I have two handles, these little gear, essentially, cranks, and I have a hand crank, and so this first hand crank, if I bring this back up, this first hand, one of these hand cranks goes on here, and if I grab these and rotate this around, the second hand crank is going to go on this one right here, if I can do this one-handed, yeah, there we go. Then we got another one of these little gear cranks. We're gonna go on this spool. Another one on this spool. Now we can get ready for the next step. Rotating this around to the front, we see we got the winches all attached on. Well, if I depressure, first of all, I need to actually come up here. Wow, I'm lining up my shot well. These up here are slide locks, so if I undo those, now we have control. I can actually let the winches out down here. And these have now been let out, these ones. I can come back here and let off that one. I'm actually going to raise this one up because this is, these pulleys can be a bit of a pain if they get off. So now that one's ready to go. Well, let's raise up the other ones for kicks. All right, now we have the winches out. Now we can lift the whole arm up. You'll notice this weird string system. This is actually my lift mechanism. So we're going to use this crank here. 
and start lifting up the arm. So let me get this back down a little bit lower so we can get a side perspective and we'll go ahead and lift the, rip, lift the arm up. Alright, so bear with me. The, arm, the crank is on the back side. We should be able to get this up as I'm sliding the whole crane forward. That looks amazing. As you can see, it works fairly smoothly and I do like it. And technically speaking, I should probably keep those tight. Yeah, you can get the arm up pretty high. I'm going to keep it a little bit more tilted for some kicks, but now we can go ahead and extend the boom. Alright, we'll see what happens, but I should be able to slide this up. Now that I have the string taken care of, I'm actually going to apply the locks. That way we don't have the string getting pulled up and down accordingly. This is just very stiff because of how I constructed this boom. Except for up here, you can see it really is loose, so I created these. There's just some little lift on, there's just some clip pieces hinge up in there and they just use their friction combined to keep it up there and now we can pull up these and we got some seam lights up on top. Also on each side it's worth to note that there are these two which can be pulled it out and I like to angle these outward as more seam lights. This could if anything be used as a light tower at night and we should now have control of the winches. So fairly pretty much yeah now we have a fully functional crane. Oh yeah, should probably done this a little earlier, but it's probably important to uh, pull the operator out of the cab, maybe, maybe, yeah, and put him into the operating section right here as I'm pulling this part. I cannot say that this is the most amazing, amazing in construction techniques, and probably should put him in there though. So, you know, we can actually have an operator running the crane. Probably should also see if I can recenter this on the turntable. Oh, uh, yeah, this thing, I do need some, like, wheel chocks or something that lock the wheels. That might be a smart idea one these days. Alright, well, we now have the winch really close to the ground. We'll might as well performing, perform some lift tests. I got nothing, I'm not going to really stretch it too much, but we got a really tight, plain and simple IB. We got a chain, so we'll, uh, get some stuff hooked up. Let's do some lifting. Uh, uh. That's one. Actually, no way you can go up higher than that. Let me put my hand in here. We can start going up. Oh yeah! And it, it's got it can lift a lot of weight because of how this one's designed. But you know, I'm not really gonna push it too far. It's kind of still got some weak spots. So there you go. I, mean, I really weren't are wondering that's what it looks like up top. But you know what? I beams are boring. They really are. That's what I'm talking. About. No. Okay, that really isn't still that heavy, but that's what I'm gonna show you. That's a maximum weight capacity. Let me get that hooked up though. All right, we're strapped in. We're ready to go. Let's start moving some lifting. Well, car's off the ground now. We need to get up a little bit, and we can uh, show how well this thing has got good weight proportions. And doesn't have any weight distribution problems, arguably. We'll bring the boom down. Probably should actually let that out a little bit since it's pulling up, technically speaking, a little bit. And we'll pull up a little bit, tad. Now, um, maybe, and I'm going to catch in frame all the time, I'll try. Uh, we should be able to rotate the, in theory, at least, rotate the whole crane. And it will not tip. Oh, of course it will slide, because it is catching on the turn tape, my turntable. But it is not, it's, you know, you can definitely tell it's pushing out as I'm hitting the back wall. That was a great job, great job. But, at least, you know, I'm not really afraid posing this in about any area way I want. But it, I'm not really afraid of it falling apart or anything, even though, yeah, you know, I still shouldn't test it, but that's okay. You know what? I think at least it's semi-durable, considering everything. Now, I do have these uh, other wrenches. Uh, I mean, using the lift, but they are designed to be what I call control winch. You know, they kind of, they're actually really pain to operate, but I can show you how those get hooked up. Getting the idea for the geometry here? Well, that's essentially what it is. Uh, like basically, what's cool is if you have your if you have it down really low, it will still kind of keep your lobe pulled in. Technically speaking, from the front point, no, I'd probably need to pull up on this no oh, other winch. There we go. Yeah. So it does give you kind of interesting control. There's also a police officer apparently hanging in there. I didn't pull out. He's probably having fun right now. Totally. Yeah. Essentially, you have a lot of really nice control for depth like that. Just, you know, having keep it. Just, Ah, man, don't touch the ground, that's that's boring. See, right there, it's completely still elevated. There is nothing underneath there. It's completely self-supported right now off that crane. So that's what the control rig, these control winches are for. They do not have a lot of friction though, so you will notice like that back one, they kind of sometimes slide a little bit when you try pulling up too much weight. 
I really don't know if I'm going to keep them, but they're fun for now. You are wondering what the winches are, even though they're kind of no-brainer, there's four of them. So here's the first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. This first one is the back control that actually pulls the boom up and down as I'm moving the whole thing. It's uses a triple pull string, it basically wraps around these pulley wheels a ton, that's how that works essentially. The second one has is the main winch for this right here, so that's the that main pull line, it's this line right here, so I'm not even showing you, wow it's amazing. Each one also has these levers which are a huge pain to get to, because I'm again, not showing you the frame, but you can see that knob is going by itself. That is, those are actually friction, it adds, there's a rubber band I'm pulling up so you can see around that this bushing and what's nice about those is that I can lift those up to make speaking if I got a heavy load and let it out really fast but yeah these I should say yeah it, it's useful it was a feature I thought it would be more useful than I'm actually using but that's okay maybe I'll actually maybe put through control handles in here instead of having just the high friction I might even put some control axles so that I can like, lift them out and be like oh yeah I can actually use them in here though it's really dark sorry but there's two other winches, you can see those are moving down in there. Those are for these two hooks right here. So yeah, that's what those are for. They do not have friction on them though, so they really can, they're really easy to just manually pull out. As you can see, this one is pulling. Yeah, you can hear, I don't know if you're hearing that, but the, the crane is popping. So Alright, well, that's it, I guess. That's <laughs> my custom Lalex XL mobile crane. Turning it down is the opposite of putting it up, pretty much. There you go, I guess you could say, it is, I did find a good use for these winches. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay then. Okay, I'm just gonna not touch anything else. So there you go. Anyways, so if you guys got any questions, go ahead and throw it down in the comment section below. If you guys don't, if you guys want to continue to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If Go ahead and like it also, that does that is helpful. I don't know exactly know how, but supposedly it, it is helpful. So there you go. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And, I want, and remember, go learn, build awesomeness. That's what I do. Try it yourself. Go without some really awesome stuff. And I'll show you the back of the model last bit of the video. That's a that's a that's a great way to end everything. Okay, I'm a, ending shot.